we have to compute the following limit. The answer is 4 over 5. So how do I know that? The degree in the denominator is 3. The degree in the numerator is 3. When the degrees are the same and you're approaching infinity, the answer is the ratio of the leading coefficients. So 4 over 5. So again, it's the ratio of the leading coefficients. So what if you actually wanted to show some work? So let's do it. Solution. So we have the limit as x approaches infinity. And the highest power of x is a 3. So we're going to divide everything by x cubed. So we have 4x cubed over x cubed plus x over x cubed. And in the denominator, we have 5x cubed over x cubed plus 4 over x cubed. You might say, well, why can you do that? That doesn't make any sense. Well, we skipped a lot of work here. So if we look at what we started with, one way to think about it is to multiply by 1 over x cubed over 1 over x cubed. And then when you distribute 1 over x cubed, you get what we have here. Let's keep going. This is the limit as x approaches infinity. These cancel, so you just get 4 plus 1 over x squared, right? Because we have x over x cubed. And then on the bottom, we get 5 plus 4 over x cubed. So as x approaches infinity, this term approaches 0. This term approaches 0. So we end up with 4 plus 0 over 5 plus 0 which is 4 over 5. So to recap, when the degrees are the same, it is the ratio of the leading coefficients. So it's 4 over 5. If the degree is bigger on the bottom, like if this was a 6, then the answer would be 0.